Understanding Diplomatic Channels, a Guide to International Communication. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of international relations and diplomacy. Specifically, we'll explore what we mean when we talk about diplomatic channels. This phrase is key to understanding how countries communicate and negotiate with one another on the global stage. So, let's get started and decode the intricacies of diplomatic communication together. Diplomatic channels refer to the official paths through which countries communicate with each other. This isn't about leaders just picking up the phone and calling one another, though that can happen. It's about a structured, formal way of sending messages, discussing policies, and negotiating agreements. Embassies, ambassadors, and special envoys play a big role here, acting as the messengers between governments. These channels ensure that communications are clear, official, and documented, which is crucial in maintaining international peace and cooperation. The use of diplomatic channels is fundamental for several reasons. Confidentiality. These channels often involve sensitive information that requires discretion. Clarity. Formal communication reduces misunderstandings between nations. Protocol. Following established protocols respects each country's sovereignty and procedures. Record keeping. Documented exchanges provide a historical account of negotiations and agreements. Diplomatic channels facilitate dialogue, help resolve conflicts, and build relationships between countries. They are the backbone of international diplomacy. To bring the concept to life, let's look at some examples. Peace treaties. The negotiation and signing of peace treaties often occur through diplomatic channels, involving intense discussions and formal agreements. Trade agreements. Countries use these channels to negotiate terms that benefit both parties, impacting global economics significantly. Crisis communication. During international crises, such as natural disasters or political unrest, countries communicate through these channels to offer help or seek solutions. These examples show how diplomatic channels are vital in managing the complex web of international relations. We hope this video has shed some light on the fascinating world of diplomatic channels and their importance in global communication. Remember, these channels are not just about formalities. They're about building bridges between nations, fostering understanding, and ensuring peace and cooperation on an international scale. Thank you for joining us today, and we look forward to exploring more interesting topics with you in our English language learning series. See you next time.